Uh, well, I gave it a shot. I'm gonna move myself over here. Nope, nope. Wait, is that? Yep, that's right. All right, I'm moving myself over to this side, and uh, I guess past turn. No, whoa, wait. Second win, or not second win, but action surge because this guy has got to go down. Okay. So two more attacks. Are you freaking kidding me? No! Oh my gosh. Another nat one. Three nat ones in a row. That is improbable. All right, that one's a 21. Well, that hits. For 10 damage. That is improbable. I'm just, I'm gonna put myself on mute and do some swears. <laughs> As Arlen, it is your turn. <laughs> Okay, uh, I still I still think Last time on Secrets of Monster Island, our monster hunters had ventured into the temple searching for the elder to train the elder axolotl. And as they had done that, they had encountered a boulder trap which only thankfully one person was ran over by. Uh, then Yo Yodale decided to throw a rock at a few of the statues in the next room and they came to life and attacked and now you sit in this room the broken down statues on either side destroyed and a portal uh or some sort of arcane sigil that looks kind of like similar to a portal because you guys have seen some portal sigils before but it doesn't look like it's working completely right as what would you guys like to do oh uh yuri let's uh pull out our young axolotl and see if he knows how we can maybe activate this portal or if it is a portal or what we can do here and he takes of... the axolotl for that as and they're doing the, that i'd like to the, look around rub the axolotl on some of the runes to start it uh being a being a rune carver now i'd like to kind of investigate around the runes and see if maybe, any of them make sense or maybe an arcana check I'm gonna guidance myself, and hopefully this is better than the last Arcanas. Probably won't be, but nope, nope. I'm not even gonna use oh, the guidance. I'm, I'm good. I'm, Let's say you just stare over here with this dumb look in my face. With your six, it doesn't look like there is. You can tell very much about it. These are definitely older runes. However, even with the six, I can tell you that these are more draconic runes on here. Rather than, can I read them then? Uh, kind of. Um, it's once again some of it's scratched out, so it's kind of hard to read. You can definitely make out the draconic dialect, um, but other than that, you can't make out much about it. Um, the axolotl. You set the axolotl on the ground, and you see the lid open on the capital, and the water and the axolotl start floating out. As as you can tell that the Axolotl has some psychic abilities that it can use to float around and stuff. Um, and it uh, floats over in the water over to the circle and he says, Oh, interesting. These uh definitely made by um, Casca, the, the fairy dragon. Um, maybe this whole temple might have been, um, but, um, I don't really know how quite to fix it. Uh, actually, it's gonna make a Arcana check real quick. No, it does not. Uh, it explains that if you, maybe we just need to take a closer look at it, uh, and see what we need to do. It floats back in its capsule and stays there. So what would you guys like to do? I would like to ask our two walkie-talkie friends. Oh, yeah. If uh, mm. they may know what this is or how to fix it. Since they yeah, are so a bit more versed in this kind of stuff. They say, uh... You see one of the crystals pop out of your ear and, like, jump down. 
and like start looking at it. You see like two little eye sockets pop out and looks down at the teleportation circle. And they say, oh, uh, let me see, uh, one of you knows Draconic, um, surely, uh, you just need to com complete some of these runes and they'll talk you through how to do that. Um, and so you all, it's with Yuri and Elaxdor both speaking Draconic, you all draw up the runes and with the guidance of your two crystalline friends, um, managed to draft it up. And the crystalline friend explains. Now there's something else I think we have to do. I think it requires some of your magical energy. Someone's magical energy. Like, uh, what kind of magical energy? Like, uh, if I was to think in spell slot level of, of energies, what would I be expecting? Like, probably a second level okay well i've got that so uh i once we complete the ruins then i uh you know some some plant matter um i put that out there and, and start praying to the memorial basically and, and provide a second level slot yeah uh, so magic to it yeah so eventually you uh Figure, uh, finish the runes and you sit right next to it and reach out and touch it and use the second level spell slot as the portal gets activated. What you guys like to do? Stand back. <laughs> so it looks like you guys can go, go through, through it through now. The portal. All right. Oh, the next okay. goes through. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? Can we, still, can we contact him through the Alaxador? What, what are you seeing over there? Uh, Alaxador, uh -huh. what you see, uh, I guess at this point I will drag me just to you over there. Okay. Put yourself on the, this side of the room. Which side? What you see appears to be. A pretty large area, um, a doorway at the northern end of the room, as and uh, you've come in from this portal right here. Uh, but other than that, it appears pretty barren. And give me a perception check. I have a guidance myself on this. Perception. That's a 26 in total. There are... The sand appears to be moving. And... Yeah, that appears to be... The sand around you appears to be kind of moving uh, like something is in it. And... I get, get the feeling it's the snake guardian. No. I feel like... It might be another enemy, perhaps. Um, what are the rest of you doing? Uh, Black Door, is, is it safe? Did you, did you make it over there okay? Uh, do I hear them? Yeah, you do. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've uh, walked through the, the floor is now sand as outside, but there's, there's something beneath the sand moving. All right. Then I'm going to run and jump in. Be careful. Alright, so Arlen, I'll move you over here as well. That's what I think. I'll just move the rest of you over here. Because you guys will probably be jumping in soon. Anyways. Well, you're jumping. Alright, so... Right here. So, uh, Arlen... Oh, uh, I do have a tremor sense out to 10 feet. Do right, I, it's not it's not near you yet. Okay, it's approaching you. Um, Arlen, put yourself on over here. Okay, Yuri, also put yourself over here. Yodelay, put yourself over here. Over here. Oh, other side. Okay, yeah. Hang on. So Alaxdor, Alaxdor, and um. 
So we appeared in two different areas. Yep. That's exactly. fabulous. Great job, nice. Aiden. And our lube is nowhere to be seen. So put yourself over here, Yodelay. On the right side. Oh, there. Wee. Oh, Alaxador, where'd where'd you go? Uh, I'm I'm here at Yodelay's here with me. I thought I thought you were coming through, Arlen. We just I did come through. I got Yuri here with me. What's up? Go out and go back again. Say, hey, as you try to step back through, it does not do anything. Ah. Oh. It's a one way. Okay. Uh, and okay. Um, as this happens, glowing text appears on the far wall in Draconic. And I need you guys to roll initiative. Yeah. We're Read in initiative. I don't know. Aggressive text. So, on this wall, and I'll describe it to Yuri first since that he goes first. <coughs> is to stop the trap tell thine others what you have figured out the answer to this riddle is and it says I can walk on walls I can move upside down if you come after me I can leave behind my tell I live in, in your house I live outside too I am a dinosaur's little sister. Who am I? Yodelay. There's Yodelay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that's the, the answer. And for both groups, you hear, like, it sounds like the wall behind you sounds like mechanical clinking is happening. Oh, as oh you're here. Uh, and then let me also get the enemies out here. Bam. Whoa. And basically what you see are these acidic looking snake-like creatures that appear to be right uh, pretty close to you guys as Yuri, it is your turn. Okay, so it sounds lizardy to me. Um, and so I would I, I let everyone know what the riddle is. And uh, because I think I have to, I think I get the riddle, and I think you guys have to put the answer on the door or the other uh, wall. So um, I tell I, I using using my earring, I tell everyone the question, and I say I think it's a lizard. All right. Anything else, Siri? That's it. Pass turn. I move. Okay. Uh. Arlo is not here. Well, Axtor, your turn. Uh, on your wall is a different riddle. It still says, tell thine others the answer to this riddle. But your riddle says, I can sizzle like bacon. I am made with an egg. I have plenty of backbone, but lack a good leg. I peel layers like onions, but still remain whole. I can be long like a flagpole yet fit in a hole. What am I? Um, and with that, Alexor calls out, we both have different riddles. Your answer is snake. Um, and then I will bonus action, get big. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to need to zoom in on the map here to see this. Um, so if you would mind uh, making me large, Aiden that as you grow ever so larger yep um and then i'm going to step forward do i see the creature do i sense the creature oh no the creature is there it basically it's comes there. up out of the ground by this point cool um then i am going to attack with my warhammer okay um, as an action Uh, and uh, what to hit? Eleven's not gonna hit, is it? It is not going to hit, unfortunately. Cool. I'm gonna action surge. Okay. 
14. 14 will hit. Okay. Wonderful. Then I need him to make um, a saving throw as the fiery chains spring up from underneath um, the ground. What kind of saving throw? Uh, it is a strength saving throw. He got an eight. Okay, he fails. So he takes 2d6 fire damage, and he will take that every turn at the start of his turn, and he can repeat that save. So um, here is the damage. So it's 2d6 for that. It's a d6 for being big. Is it on his uh, turn, though, that it takes the damage? or is it No, also he on takes the turn? damage right now, and then at the start of each of his turns, because he is grappled, restrained by these fiery chains that will continue to burn him. Um, there's that. I'm also going to channel my divinity into this. Um, so, okay. yeah. Lots of things going on here. Sorry. Um, so it's going to be an additional 15 there. So here's the roll for damage. Uh, do you need it broken down on to what type? Oh, that's horrible. Um, as long as it's not poison, you're fine. Yeah, none of it is poison. Uh, it's going to be plus three, so it's going to be a total of 30 damage. Ready? To him. Anything else? Um, and I will step there. And that is my uh, bonus action spiritual weapon okay um will come out spiritual weapon come on uh it'll come out on the other one and attempt to hit and it looks like That'll it hit. will yep and it'll do eight force and that is my turn. Okay, passing turn is the enemies. We'll start with the ones on Alexdor's side. Uh, so he takes 2d6 fire damage. Yep, he takes 5 more fire damage. Um, when does he get to repeat that same End of his well? turn. Is he restrained? Mm-hmm. Okay, so he has disadvantage on you. Uh, miss. And, oh, that's still a 22 to hit. Wonderful. I will, as a reaction, use my Cloud Rune um, ability. Um, okay. And he actually hits the other individual that's over here with us. The other snake? What? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, wow. Good night. Once, once per short rest, uh, when you or a creature you can see within 20 feet is hit by an attack roll, I can use my reaction to make it choose a different target other than the attacker within 30 feet. Make it choose a different target, so it chooses what it is. No, so, I, the uh, other, so the other one takes three points I of can damage. Choose, I can choose a different creature other oh. than the attacker. So... Three points of damage to the other one because of resistances and immunities and all that shenanigans. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one will attack you for straight rolls. Yeah, twenty. Yeah. As uh, six points of piercing. Oh, sorry. No, this is double. So twelve points of piercing and fourteen points of poison. And make Didn't me a con save. Creatures can't crit players anymore <laughs> and then another attack or that thing that one's going to be miss uh, 13 yeah, that misses I got a 13 on my con save uh you barely save as you, the you, other side concentration I don't have anything that's concentrating as the other side is going to one's going to come over here to he needs to make that strength save still oh perfect. nine 
fails, so he is still grappled and restrained and burning. Okay. This one is going to move 40 feet over to you. Oh dear. Uh, oh, 40 feet. I 40 feet over, over to here. here. They are snakes. Very sneaky. No, they're sneaky. They're not sneaky, they're sneaky. Alright, so two attacks coming on Arlen. Uh, disadvantage. Arlen. Uh, that'll be a miss. That'll be a 16 to hit, so still a miss. Two attacks to the Yuri. The highest was a 15. <laughs> that, uh, uh, I, that misses. That misses. Alright, so they all appear to miss you as you oh. It is your turn. Oh, I was not prepared for this. Of course I was. Uh, I'm going to move, let's see here. I believe that's 30 feet. Excellent. So I'll move my echo over to this guy. And mm -hmm. uh, first attack is going to be with George. So swinging with George. Kia! Oh, biscuit. 12. Ooh. And then uh, second attack, I am going to grapple this sucker with my echo grapply grapple <laughs> nine oh. Oh. you die stink uh well i gave it a shot i'm gonna move myself over here nope nope wait is that yep that's right all right i'm moving myself over to this side and uh, I guess past turn. No, whoa, wait. Second win, or not second win, but action surge because this guy has got to go down. Okay. So two more attacks. Are you freaking kidding me? No! Oh my gosh! Another nat one. Wah, Three nat wah, ones in a row. Wah, that is wah. improbable. All right, that one's a twenty-one. Well, that hits. <laughs> 10 damage. That is improbable. I'm just, I'm going to put myself on mute and do some swears. <laughs> As Arlen, it is your turn. <laughs> okay, uh, I, still, I still think right there we still need to have that. Oh, oh, oh yeah, it's still going to be there. <laughs> Do I get the sense that these things might have some blind or tremor sense? Because they uh, maybe a sand. nature check. Well, oh, I definitely get the sense that I'm blind. <laughs> Thirteen. They don't look because like it. They look, look. They like look it. like they're basically liquid. Um. Oh, okay. Well, then let's try this. Let's go with. Uh, I'm gonna keep, spend two key points to cast darkness on myself, which is, I believe, yeah, 15 foot cube. So let's put that around me. It's a sphere, not a cube. A sphere of darkness is in a cube? It's, that's what I meant, sphere. <laughs> uh, okay, and uh, so silly. I can get a bonus action to attack. Does I, do I feel like I'm getting advantage on this? Yes. All right. Let's see it. 27 to hit. That'll hit. For seven points of slashing damage. Okay. And I think that will be it for me. All right. Time for my little trap, kind of. Um... You, you guys are gonna have to move your. You guys are gonna have to move your tokens, by the way. As the wall moves, oh. 50 feet that way, and put yourselves in front of the wall, right where you were. So As we are moved appears... with the wall. Yep. Hey, question. Yeah. The creature that I have with the chains has grappled and restrained in place. Squish. Did he just get squished by the wall? Or did it move with it? 
in general, one second. stuff like that when stuff like that happens, it gets shunted into a space that it can occupy nearest um, to where it was. So a lax storm? They are liquid. They are immune to restrained and grappled. Oh. Mm. Do they still take the damage if they're not restrained or grappled? Um. Let's see. Oh, I didn't mean do that. Technically, they can also if share. it's not if it's not they restrained, it doesn't take the damage. All right, we won't worry about the previous damage. It was okay. whatever. I that was my fault for forgetting. Uh, by the way, you're kind of inside the creature Yodale right now because you got pushed into it. Um, so yeah, that's fun. As Yuri, it is your turn. Okay, so uh, I would like to figure out how to stop the walls once we figure out what the what the answers are. Mm -hmm. um, can I figure out what is like how to how to how to answer the question? Like, uh, yeah, do I say it out loud? A, do I write it in check. a book? Okay. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Seven. You have no idea. No idea. Okay. Then... I, we're a party that hits things, not one who thinks <laughs> things <laughs> through. Not. Oh, this, yeah. is why, this is why I give. This is why I give you guys puzzles. I do the it's... sneaky sneak. I don't do the thinky think. Okay. Um, um, what about the spiritual weapon, Aiden? Is it on the other side of the wall? It would be on the other side of the wall, technically. Because it's not okay. a physical object. Correct, right? Hmm. Yeah, technically. So I will... I will disengage and run away. Because I think I have to get to that... To this board over here. This, uh, this area over here is where the riddle is, right? Uh, yeah, on okay. the far wall. Yeah, right. So, I'm sorry. Okay, so I think I need to get over there, um, and so I will move my thirty-five feet. Uh, try to uh, so object interaction. Put my shield on, and disengage and run away. Last turn. All right. Laxdor, uh, it is your turn. Ooh. I am going to cast a third level spell. Uh, uh, it is going to be Spirit Guardians. Mm, good. Good. That is a bonus. Uh, no, hold on. That is my action. But that is up now. So, uh, that is my turn. Uh, spiritual weapon, hold on. I can actually move it. How far can I move it? 20 feet. 5, 10, 15. I'm going to move it there so that I have a chance next turn to do the same thing. It will attempt to hit... Nope, it misses. That's my turn. Okay. The Snig Snakes are Need going to make, make attacks. Wisdom save. Yes. What's the thing? Uh, one is a 14. The other is a 17. They both succeed, so they'll take half damage on my side. All right. As the Spirit Guardians envelops them and gets them to take them damage. Yep. Uh, and as you look through the spirit guardians this time are the spiders with the dagger legs <laughs> that we fought on the last one on the last island uh, so 17 so they'll take half of that so they'll take 8 necrotic and their okay. speed is halved anything else? Mm -mm. Uh, well actually that's their turn so uh, uh, two attacks coming at you Next door. Mm -hmm. will be a definite miss. One is a 20. 
one. I will silvery barbs that one and give Yodel a the advantage. <laughs> that is a nineteen. Misses. Okay. Uh, two attacks coming at Yodelay at disadvantage. Miss. And miss. Two ta uh, so on the other side of things, on the flip side. Flip side! Uh, this one is going to move over to you. Oh, it's going to make attacks at you. 18. That is, that is a 17 to hit and nat 20. Okay, Ooh. my nat 20 will hit. Um, so 12 points of, of piercing and 14 points of poison. Okay, I will... And then uh, an additional I'm 6 so points of pier- What? I'm sorry, okay, so what, the, what was this, the 14? Yeah, so... Yeah. What type what of, what, what type of damage was it? So, let me just do the totals real quick. Uh, so, 21 points of poison damage, and 18 points of piercing. Okay, so I can't absorb either one of those. Okay. Okay. Did you get all that damage? I did. I thought uh, okay. I thought I could absorb element because it was, I didn't realize it wasn't going to be acid damage, it's poison damage, and uh, absorb element doesn't do. Poison. All right. Okay. Um, uh, oh, did I attack? Uh, I did not attack. Attacks, attacks, darling. Uh, miss. Ooh, that was a twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one hits for six points of piercing and ten points of poison. And oh, I need you to give me a con save, Yuri. And maybe and, a con save Yarlow. Yeah. 13. 20 for the con save. Right, and then you I guys need to do an, no, another concentration save for my darkness spell. 12. It's saved. So right. the darkness is still up. Back to the other side. Uh, Yodelay, it's your turn. Oh, wait. No. I think, oh, never mind. Go ahead. Yeah. Nice so your turn? yeah. Nope. How big are these things? How tall are they? Um. I'd say probably 10 feet tall at the very least. Okay, I'm going to use my spider slippers to move up the wall 15 feet so that I can still reach him. Okay. And uh, let's see here. Where's my attacks? Two George attacks. That That's a little better. 16. Oh, advantage. Yep, I gave you advantage. That's right. Okay, attack. 16 on the first one. The 16 hit? 16 does, I believe, hit. Yes, it does. And 13 misses. All right. So that's 16 damage on the first attack. And that was right. advantage was just on my first attack, right? right. You're attacking the right. one on the right one, right? Uh, yeah, where, just where I'm above him. And then okay. that's going to be 18 to hit for... Hit. Oh, almost maxing. 16 damage. Now then... This is where the shenanigans are going to come into play. I'm going to move my echo to the other side of the wall. And then bonus action. Swap places. Yep. So you are on that side of the wall. wall as it's moving forward and leave my echo there. Still being Same. able to see everything because I got blind sense, baby. And now in the south, there is... Well, on the map, it's just void, but there is a dirt wall behind, a dirt, like a sandy wall behind it, uh, where that wall was. Um, as it is now... Wait, oh, in your turn. It's solid back here? No, it's solid back here. Oh, okay, so this is just a big... Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. We are going to, uh, since he cannot see me, I am going to four attacks at advantage with my Umber Knuckles. Get it! Nat 20 for 17 points of slashing. 24 to hit for 11 points of slashing. <coughs> Flurry blows. 26 to hit for six points of slashing. 
All right. 26 to hit for eight points of slashing. So you're just hitting this thing multiple times, and it's looking pretty decent. Anything else? 42 points of damage. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Yeah. Um, No, uh, I can't disengage. Uh, No, uh, we're going to move here. It's not going to make much of a difference, but... Pass turn. I'm going to need you guys to move yourselves again, except for... Not you guys. Right about that. As the wall moves extremely fast. Ooh. Oh dear. 60 feet. Yikes. And it looks like if you don't stop it in time, it might just crush you. Seems yeah. like it. It looks like it might crush you. <laughs> That's from the other side of the wall. There we go. Oh no, uh, your shadow. Back to the top with Yuri. I don't know. So interact with object. Pull out my magical dagger. Um, and I give me a free action archon check. No, I don't want to. That's a five. I don't know anything about Arcana. I am a plant boy. And uh, plant boy and a cleric doing Arcana checks. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I'm i not even sure I'm, we'd be good at survival at this point. Uh, so I scream at the top of my lungs. I see. Yeah, yeah, as you guys are just kind of, as you guys are just kind of being flung against the wall. Snake, just lizard, playing. whatever. Uh, just because of uh, the, the, I mean, I think the answer, like, uh, I, no, 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 it's not. It's the other side. So I tell the other side because because I have we have to switch, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think the riddle is is a snake or a lizard, and then I guess I attack this snaky thing. I'm gonna get killed before I. Um, it's okay, Yuri. I've got this. Okay, cool. Uh, well, Don't worry about it. Hit. Sixteen will hit. Okay, that's going to be a grand total of seven points of damage. Twelve doesn't uh, hit, I'm sure, right? Twelve does not hit. Okay. Uh, this is unfortunately not a good situation for our good friend Yuri. Yeah. So take a tech of opportunity because I'm going to run away, uh, trying to get toward that wall. That is, oh god, that's a 22. Okay, go ahead and, uh... What's so 7 name? points of poison, 6 points of piercing. Oh yeah, and that's, uh, that's gonna be very bad very quickly. Be a con, con save. Uh, 9. You are poisoned till the oh. end of its next turn. I'm oh. dead. No, okay. Oh, uh, pass turn. Alright. Laxdor, your turn, maybe an arcana check. Mm-hmm. Hey, fourteen. It's you have a feeling that if, you, you have a feeling that if you say the answer out loud, it might work. Cool, lizard. Okay, we'll see what happens. And, and then I attack the same one I've been attacking. Okay. Um, Is there anything else you you say or do before you start attack? Well, I already told them that the answer was snake. I mm-hmm. already said snake. Do you tell him anything else? Uh, I don't know what else to tell him. Alright, make your decks. Yep. There's obviously something I should be doing, but I don't know what it is. Um, here we go. That's gonna hit on 24. Attacking the one on the right or the one on the left? Uh, the one I've been attacking on the right, so... Um, so that is 11 bludgeoning plus... Uh, four more. So, 15. That's enough to kill that one. Um, 
and then just kind of turn to face the other one, and I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm just killing these liquid things. That's my turn. Okay. I'll pass. All right, it is their turn. Uh, two attacks coming at you, Blackstone. Mm -hmm. uh, 15, and then a 24. Uh, 24, I will Silvery Barbs. Using a second level spell slot. This that time. is a miss then. Okay. And I the give, other ones. Uh, uh, Yodelay, the advantage. You have to see him. Uh, his echoes there. Oh, that's true. Uh, uh, two attacks, uh, disadvantage coming at Arlen. For a miss. And a miss. The other one is going to give up the chase on you, Mr. Yuri. It's going to come over here to the shadow plane. It does be, need to make a wisdom save, by the way. Sorry. Oh, yes. Five. So, roll your damage. Spirit Guardians erupt from the screen. Fourteen. Fourteen damage? Alright. Uh, Yodelay. Alright, I gotta move up closer, so I don't lose my, uh... Weren't you on the wall? Echo. Hmm? Weren't you on the wall? Well, my echo is he's up, he's up like 15 feet on the wall. Oh, I thought you were on the back side of the wall. Oh, yeah. No, but you, prob you probably should do that. <laughs> that way I can just ride it till it slams down. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. So from there, I, I shall. I just gotta get after this kid. A, a 28 to hit. That'll hit. For 14 damages, and then. Another one! Four now. Next, uh, the non next session, you're gonna have like 97. D twenties, just not just not twenties, not twenties, all over the place. Okay. All right. And then uh, a twelve to hit with an unarmed yeah. strike. Uh, that'll miss. All right then. Uh, I shall yell words of encouragement to my friend. Get on this Wait. side of the wall. Don't stay over there. <laughs> As Arlen, it is your turn. All right, Arlen is going to shadow step and then move a few feet. Do I see something on here that shows like a snake or something like that? It'd be an arcana check. Seventeen. You picked up on a little bit draconic in your time with uh, Yuri and Laxdor. And you realize that somewhere on the door it says, "read." It looks like it says, "read out loud." Say that. Say the answer out loud. Gotcha. Okay. So I yell, "Snake!" And then I turn around and <laughs> fire my bow at the one I've been yourself. shooting at. Okay. Uh, long With advantage. A twenty-one to hit. That'll hit. For 10 points of damage, piercing damage. Okay. 26 to hit for 10 points of piercing damage. Alright. Anything else? That is my turn. Alright. As that happens, the wall comes to a slowdown and stops. But the creatures are still there. And that's where we're going to have to end this time. <laughs>